What's going on, everyone? Welcome. This is the Warehouse Series. I appreciate everybody for being here. This is Discord Friday. Something a little bit different today. Usually, I go over pallet reviews over on Discord, but today I'm just going to do something a little bit different. I want to show the common mistakes that people make in the warehouse that uh, probably would cause their pallet to fall over. So, a few pictures we're going to be going over today. Uh, things not to do in the warehouse, all right, when you are selecting an order. Guys, I am in the process of trying to fix why my mouth is off with my words. I don't know. It happened on the last video, and it's happened happening on this one has never happened before so i reached out to someone to see if they could help me with that it's really pissing me off but it is what it is subscribe to the channel guys join that discord that link is in the description below and once again just don't look at my mouth you know just look at the pictures that's what we usually do anyhow you don't need to look at me <laughs> all right guys let's get on to that first picture all right so jeremy posted this one I don't think it was his. <laughs> I hope it wasn't his. And you just heard me say this just a couple videos ago. Do not use props. If you have to use props, please exit the warehouse. You don't know how to build. You're never going to learn how to build. If you're using props to make your uh, palette better, it's not going to make it better. Because remember, guys, what I said, just because this is looking good in the warehouse does not mean it's going to look good once it gets to the store. Whatever this prop is here is probably going to crush and this palette's going to be leaning very much so. And it's going to damage the crap out of this box right here. Don't use a breaker pallet, all right? If you have to use props, don't use a breaker pallet. If you have to use props, move cases around. Just not a bad thing to get in, or a good thing to get into, I should say. Now, this one here is something a little bit different. Uh, this person uh, posted this on, and it was a very, uh, just, you got a little bit of everything here. So I do like what you did with the, uh, whatever these are here, you stack them up the front of the jack. Now guys, this is where I say that the touch once mentality is really, it just irritates me. Uh, you know, what would I do differently? I told you I got compulsive behavior problems, but uh, I would have stacked everything like he did right here. And all this soda would have been stacked on my back corner. I don't care if this took me three minutes to fix this. I would have took these boxes out once I started getting all these. So I wouldn't even had these columns stacked like this. Once I started getting these, all this would have came down. I, I definitely would have did things differently is what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know exactly what order this stuff came in, but this bulk heavy items that are all lining up together would have been on my back corner without a doubt. If I had the uh, there's what what five there you know i would have made it work i, I would have put them on my back corner they would have been resting on the ground uh this tall box would have been in the middle probably on top of the craft i probably would have went two and two on top with one in the middle uh, i don't like column stacking weight all right weight especially glass one little tip and this is going to be a nightmare it's going to be broken glass liquid all over the place uh there are different ways of doing things unfortunately i don't know the exact way that this came in the warehouse but i personally i don't care guys i don't make incentive when i throw it in the warehouse so i personally am trying to make this pallet stronger than what it is uh you know it's just not a good uh pallet I'm not saying the person is faulted for it. it like sometimes you just got to go in the order it comes in. And, but I definitely would have took time to redo this. I guys, I just, I'm just the way I am. If I have to turn a delay time, I'm turning a delay time. I don't care. I just don't like my palettes looking like this guys. We went over this a couple of times with, uh, Samuel's uh, work that we went over talking about moving those eggs down, moving stuff down to a flat surface to sit on, moving that weight down the pallet. The further you get that weight to come down the pallet, the stronger the pallet's going to be. So these next couple pictures I'm looking at are exactly that. Get the touch once mentality out of your head. Now we have a slip sheet here. I would have never used a slip sheet. This bucket would have been resting right on top of this creamer right here. I would have just moved the yogurt. Guys, and I'll, like I said, I'm not a slip sheet person, but I, I don't like slip sheets with weight resting over nothing okay because is it going to be a problem i don't know but it po it possibly could be i would have just moved the yogurt out not have a slip sheet and just dropped it straight down on top of the creamer uh just remember that guys sometimes it just takes one case to make your palate that much stronger right here this is going to buckle and keep buckling and i doubt it's going to damage anything in there but once again one second just knock the cans out of there and drop this right down on the flat surface. Do not do this, all right? Or if you're going to do this, I said I think I mentioned this before in a, a different video, is put this case in there to give it some support to lean on. But it would have just took one second to knock that can out and drop this down. Touch one's mentality is okay for probably 90% of your order. But when you have stuff like this where you could definitely correct your palate and make it stronger, it is well worth touching that case more than one time.
All right, guys, another one. I know I talked about some of these are repetitive pictures, but that's okay because repetitive teaches you guys. And this is another one. I don't care, guys. I want my integrity and my palate to be nice and strong. I want it to make it to the store, okay, and be, in, in all cases, be sellable. All, I don't know how many cases are here. I don't know what this is right here, but this whole section, would it just, I would have just pushed it all off the pallet when I was down this low, and these two buckets would have been sitting straight on the pallet. All right, so that's what I would do differently. I'm not afraid to move cases to make my pallet stronger, and these buckets being down here would have been a lot stronger. Uh, and let's see, if these are chicken, then I would have had to build this differently. Now remember, we were down here whenever we got the buckets. So if this is chicken, can't go on buckets, and I'm gonna put it on more chicken, or I'm gonna do something different down here, but I am not gonna have these bu uh, buckets like this. This is just something I cannot live with myself if I left this like that. All right, guys, once again, I don't know if there's a slip sheet in here, but don't do this, all right? Now, we're using the green pallets, and this was on a recent video as well. Uh, you know, we're using the green pallets, smaller selecting surface. This case is a fatter case, so I would have just moved this Milo's up to the next one, and I would have had two silks or two similar cases right here to fill in that gap. Remember, just like on uh, Samuels when he turned that case sideways on his video on monday that's what i'm talking about you do not want gaps in your base it's the worst place to have gaps is in the base guys i would have took this case put it up on the next layer dropped two cases similar down and we would have filled that in really nice don't do this very bad habit to get into it's a beautiful palette but this could easily fall over because of that one case resting on nothing all right guys i just said on the other one i don't like i don't like weight sitting on nothing all right we take too much uh sense of security with these slip sheets this is a lot of weight leaning on nothing so what's this pallet going to look like when it gets to the store once again guys is this slip sheet strong enough it possibly can be i just got a text message back from the guy that i'm hoping is going to be able to help me with my mouth uh so hopefully we can get that uh figured out by next uh you know video but guys look i mean it's just I'm a, I'm a firm believer that if you're going to use a slip sheet, it's perfect placement for it halfway up the pallet. Just make sure that we're not resting on nothing. Or if we are having a little gap, just have a little gap. Don't. This is just too big of a gap for this to really slope down and possibly knock this pallet over. All right, guys, you hear me say this time and time again, and that is putting cases on their sides, in certain cases like glass, should never be on their sides, should never have liquid on its side. You should never be tying it from high to lows. We put a can in here. We almost wedged a can in between two columns, and then we started stacking on that. That is the worst thing you could possibly do. And we put weight on it with the water up above. Guys, do not wedge. If you're gonna wedge a case in between two columns, make sure it's sitting level, which we are not. We are just stuck in between two cases. Now, if it was sitting down here, it'd be a different story. But once you do that, do not put weight on it because then you're gonna start. I actually think these might even be those little glass jars. It looks like it might be more glass. Salad dressing on its side. I know the salad dressings aren't as, you know, crazy putting it on its side like the jars, but I just tell you I'm a firm believer. I believe this is liquid as well. Uh, you know, just keep those cases flat. When you keep cases flat, your palate's gonna look a lot better. And don't just start wedging. Like, remember guys, you don't have to fill in every single hole on your palate. All right, just keep moving up. Uh, but other than that, the base was real nice, but just keep those cases upright. Big, big thing with liquids, especially. Uh, no liquids upside down and no liquids on their sides. All right, guys, we got two more pictures to look at. This one right here is keeping cases level. You hear me say that all the time. And especially with glass, heavy cases. When you put heavy cases from a high to a low like this, or are you asking for problems, man? <laughs> this is, and we even did it over here. Now, this was a newer selector in my warehouse when I snapped this picture and I did correct them. Uh, but guys, do not do this. Do not tie in high to lows. Uh, there are ways of doing this. You now, new selectors, you're just gonna learn how to group these together. Over here, we should have had these on the back as well because they all come together. So I, I don't know how they did this, uh, but it's not good. Now, you definitely do not want to tie in high to lows and you definitely don't want to do it with weight. 
All right, guys, and the last thing, and I think is the best thing, and this is the one thing that, like I always tell you guys, if you could take away from my channel, is to have strong corners with a weak inside. In this picture here, we have a strong middle with a weak corner. You do not want this, all right? These big, heavy, strong cases that we are wasting in the middle of our palette should be on the corner facing in. This is a problem when you start walking your cases back and you want your cases to touch, and then we get stuck with this little back like this. Every time I see a little back like this, nine times out of 10 that person was walking their cases back they started up at the front of the pallet and they just keep touching 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 got all my cases got to touch and then we get to the back of the pallet and we have nothing but we have to put all of our small cases back there guys build from your corners in especially when you get these big boxes you want to build on your corners facing in it's going to make your pallet so much stronger all right, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully I can fix my mouth uh, by next video. I will get that figured out. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys for joining. Uh, have a great day. I, I hope you guys take some tips away from those. If you disagree, agree with me. Leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.